In people with kidney failure, fluid taken in through food and drink accumulates across all tissues. Fluid overload leads to swollen tissue, problems with the heart, blood pressure and breathing. The fluid is mostly removed by hemodialysis. If a lot of fluid needs to be removed in the four hour long session, it can cause problems like cramps, nausea, dizziness and problems with delivery of blood to major organs. Knowing how much fluid to remove at each session is based on target weight, the ideal weight after dialysis that leaves the right amount of fluid in the body. The amount of fluid to remove is sometimes called the ultrafiltration or UF goal. On arriving for dialysis, it's important to check in with staff and get weighed. This shows how much extra fluid is in the body. Washback is extra fluid put into your body at the end of dialysis to make sure you get your blood back. This is added to the weight and fluid removal is calculated. After dialysis, the patient is weighed again and feeds back to staff how they felt during the session. Target weight is key. It's not constant and needs to change with body weight changes. Or the patient will be left with too much or too little fluid. Changes should be based on clinical assessment, symptoms and sometimes technology. Good communication between everyone is essential to determine any changes to diet pattern. Fluid management is a core part of hemodialysis. Good fluid management should lead to a better quality of life and less long-term problems.